Hello guys, in this video we are going to talk about how to fix end shrouded is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even many more issues which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about we have to start with a simple restart. For this we just need to go over here in the start icon, click on this one, go to the power icon over here and go for a restart. Once the restart is done, we just need to try launch the game and we have to see whether the issue is solved or not. If that is not the case, we have to go to the next step. That is all about, we have to launch the game from the installation folder. So most of us launch the game from the Steam. So that might even sometimes cause the issue up. So we just need to launch the game from the installation folder. So we can just navigate to the game over here, right click and go to the properties. Navigate to the installed file and just click on the browse. Now from here, if you go over here, just close this and if you check over here on this particular folder, that is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, end surrounded. So this is the folder. So just launch the game from here and this will be working fine. So for many users, when they launch the game from the installation folder, instead of launching the game from the Steam, it worked for them so you can try this out as well. Also, I'll, I'll, I'll make two more steps can be done from here. So I'll be showing you that that can be done. That is one among us, we have to run the game as administrator and we have to run the game in the compatibility mode. So just go over here, right click. We have to go to show more options. We have to go to the properties, go for compatibility, click on run this program as administrator and go for apply and go for OK. This is what we have to do as the first step. Next one is all about we have to run the game in the compatibility mode. Go for show more option, go to the properties, go for compatibility, click on run this program in the compatibility mode. We have to set this to Windows 7 and you can go for apply and we have to go for OK. Or you can set this to Windows 8, go for apply and go for OK as well. So you can run any one of the things and that will be working fine. So this can be done. So once you're done with this one, we can move to the next step. That is all about we have to launch the game. That is all about make sure the language, not the language, region and date is correct. For this reason, we have to go over here in the search. We have to search for settings. Go over here in the settings. Now from here, go to time and language. Go for language and region. Sorry, first one, we have to make sure the country and region is correct. So if you're from United States, you have to select United States. If you're from United Kingdom, you have to select United Kingdom. So you have to select the country according to geography, which is very important. Parallelly, make sure the date, time and region is correct, which means you have to turn this on, turn this on as well and turn this on. Make sure it is very recently synced. And even after cross-checking this, go back and try launch the game. This might work. So you can try. If that is not the case, do not worry, we can move to the next one. That is all about we have to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab. So just launch the game and press Alt and Tab and that will be working fine. This even worked for many users, so we can try this out. Next one, we have to delete the saved game file. So just go over here in the file explorer and go over here in this PC and we have to go to the documents and over here, as you can see, you'll be find the folders like this. So from here, you have to, if you find the folder here like Diablo 4 for the game and draw it, you can download it. I mean, you can delete it or if it's not there, you can just get into the folder, my games and here over, you will be able to see it. So just delete the game. And once afterwards you delete the game, just go back and try. That is what you have to do. Next one is all about, we have to allow the game to Windows security, which is a very important step. So many users, when they allow the game to Windows security, it did work it for them. So what we need to do is we just need to go over here in the search, go for control panel. Now from here, we have to navigate to system and security, go for Windows Defender Firewall, go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, we have to navigate to the game. So hence it is an alphabet, just keep scrolling down and we'll be able to find it. So uh, the game is here, end shrouded is here. So make sure it is added. And also both the private and public, both has to be selected. This is what we have to do as the first step. So if the game is not here, we have to add it by default. For this, we just need to click on the change setting, go for allow another app, go for browse. Now we just need to go to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, go for steam and we have to navigate to steam apps go to common now from here keep scrolling down and navigate to end shrouded now from here select this one and we have to open and add it i'm getting the error because the game is already added so once you add the game just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game 
Even tried with this, still if you are having the issue, do not get panicked. We have few more steps can be done and one among them is all about we have to unplug all the USB devices. So right now on this particular laptop which I am using, shooting is in progress. I play games such as you know, Forza Horizon 5. So all the times whenever I use this one, it is all the Logitech wheels are already connected to the USB ports. So this even causes the issue up. So what we need to do is we just need to unplug all the USB devices. The unwanted things should be removed, including the joysticks and the controllers. After everything is removed, you have to connect back, you have to launch the game. Once the game is launched and you are in the game successfully, you can connect back the controller and try launch the game. And this is what you have to do. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot which is very important so just go over here search for system configuration we have to go to the services and we have to go for hide all micros go for disable all go for hide all Microsoft services first go for disable all go for apply and go for ok you have to go for a restart so when you are doing the restart you have to keep in mind so uh, the users who are watching this go for restart but here we are in the middle of shooting so I am going to go for exit without restart and afterwards try launch the game. Next one is all about we have to roll back the drivers which is not much important so that's why I am not showing you guys. So uh, next one is all about we have to disable the steam overlay so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties. Over here you can see enable the steam while overlay while in game so if it is turn it on we have to turn this off and once afterwards try launching the game. Also you can try one more very important step which worked for many users in my knowledge in my experience many users even now even comment uh, in the comment section and say thank you this particular step worked for them and one among them is given the command in the launch option. So here we have the launch option the first command is dx11 you can start with dx11 give the dx11 command and try launching the game if dx11 is not working Try giving the command DX12 and you can try launch the game. So either the DX11 will be working or we have to try with DX12. So any one of the things will be working fine and that is what we have to do. Next one is all about nothing but we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For this we just need to go over here. We have to navigate to the graphics settings. Now from here what we need to do is we just need to find the game. So the game is not added here so I have to add it by default. So just click on the browse. Now we have to navigate to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, go for steam over here. Now we just need to go for steam apps, navigate to common. Now from here navigate to end shrouded. Now select this one and we have to go for open. So the game is added, just click on the option. Make sure this is high performance. So by default this would be let windows decide. Change this to high performance and go for save. Once you save this, just close everything and we have to go back, try launch the game. Next one is all about we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For this regions, we just need to go over here in the game. So I'll be providing a link in the description to both NVIDIA as well as to the AMD. The NVIDIA users has to go over here. Now from here, you have to select everything like the product type should be selected. If you're on GeoForce, select GeoForce. If you're on the product series, you have to select according to your requirements. So mine is 14 series, so I have to select 14 series. Now I have to select GeForce RTX 4090. Now I have to select Windows 11 because I'm using Windows 11. Now go for start search. So you have to configure it according to your need and your specifications and you'll be getting this option. Right now the 551.23 is the, uh, the driver version and we have to delete this. I mean, sorry, we have to download this and we have to install and restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. And if you're on the AMD, just go over here, select every details over here and go for submit. And if you're on Windows 11, download this one. And if you're on Windows 10, you can try downloading this one and that will be working fine. So these can be done. So either you can try, if you're on the NVIDIA, you can download the NVIDIA official drivers from here. If you're on the AMD, just do this. And also you can try installing the Microsoft Visual C++. This even helped many users and I found this from the Reddit and even in the Quora, even in the Steam community, many users mentioned this step. So you can try this out without any doubt. So just go to this link and if the system is based on x64, you can download this one and the system is based on x86, you can download this one and install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. Next one is all about we have to in increase the virtual memory which is very important sub so just go over here we can search for view advanced system setting now from here what we need to do is just go to the advanced go for settings go to the advanced and go for change make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk according to your uh, configuration so here it is local disk c 
and go for the custom size set the value for initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so here we need to go over here so uh, we need a calculator so i'm going to type this so 32 gb is the ram of my computer so i have to type the ram so you have to type your ram and we have to multiply with the constant value which is common for everyone that is 1024 and multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 14 and 152 so just copy this and paste this value and the maximum size is 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98 304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it and once you're done with this one we just need to close this and we have to go back and we just need to try launching the game and that is what we have to do next one is all about we have to update the windows so just go over here now go to the settings now from here go to the windows update so just update your windows so updating the windows will be working fine and it worked for many users you can try this over as well and once you update the windows you're fine with it Next one, you can try uninstall and reinstall the game. So just go over here, go to the manage and uninstall and reinstall the game. That is what you have to do. And also after done with this one, if you're having still the issue, you can also try, uh, you, know, uh, you know, verify integrity of game file, which is actually a very important step. And, you know, uh, the, if any files are corrupted of the game, you know, you will be having the trouble. So we just need to do the verify integrity of game file. So just go to the game over here, right click and go to the... Uh, properties and we have to go to install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file so what happens is this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this so you can try this out so it's going to take a little bit of time so we just need to wait this to uh, reach 100 percentage and afterwards i'll be concluding with one more step Now once all the files are successfully validated, you just need to close this and we have to try launch the game and that is what you have to do. So these possible workarounds can be done and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.